Boston, 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a detective. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. Chapter 1. Pierce Investigations Agency, Boston. I am mad it is a mercy. May the gods pity the man who in his callousness can remain sane to the hideous end. Sane and hideous end. Hmm, those kind of lingered. Standard movement. Hello everyone and welcome to The Call of Cthulhu, a game by Cyanide Studios. Okay, that's a bit better, I guess. Yeah, that's better. Alright. Poor sharks. I don't think they deserved that. What is that? Shark. Or a barracuda. To crouch. Control. Ah uh, yes, look, if crouch is ever on something that's not C or control, I'm I'm lost to you. I'm lost. Okay, D to use, very standard. I love a standard control scheme. Ah. Now what? <laughs> Why are our hands all bloody? Uh, is that our blood? I don't know if it would be better or worse if it was not our blood. Counter darkness. You must light up some areas in order to interact with them. Okay, can I? Well, there's this. Pick up an object. Yeah, I figured out E. Hurricane lamp. Hello. Oh, hello. Can I walk off the edge? No. Boo. Alright. It's a couple years old, but it holds up. Hello? That must have been a big shark. Okay. Um, yeah. No, we're not- we're not staying there, actually. We're not staying there, actually. We're- we're going away from there. That- that was a bad idea. I have a lot of those, but boy, howdy. Okay, let's see here. Okay, I don't know what that was. Should we? Okay, no, we can't make sure there's two exits. That would be too easy. I'm meaning to play this game for a while. Unfortunately, I am the exact sort of hack that will play any kind of cosmic horror game that comes my way. Orca. Oh, this is where we saw the thing in the cave. Ugh. Think about that cliff face, huh? Don't fight. You have been chosen. 
No, thank you. No, thank you. I prefer toggles, but to hold is fine. First off, I did not agree to shit. You know, uh, the buzzing learned this, and now you will learn this. I didn't agree to shit. Behold. Oh. Behold your bright white screen. Everything has already been written. But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. I'm sorry for your bad taste. Whiskey's great. I wonder why I still take these things. Because they're addictive? Trademark sleeping pills. Sonom. Sonom. Sonom focus? Okay, well. The doctor prescribed them when I returned from the war. They swore that they would put an end to the nightmares, but for a while now, their effect has been wearing off. Oh hey, we got sleeping pills. Oh look, bugs! The Lost Battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That is isn't courage. I mean, it can be. I used to be an avid reader. California, Alaska? Something Voyager? A lot of California, Alaska. Hello? Okay. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top notch cases. It's October of 1924. We're not going out the door yet. You? Better not be uh, copyrighted. Goodbye. Hush. State Street, looking towards the old state house. Oops. Hello. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce, private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Okay, so this is a bit of an RPG. Good to know. Allocate your character points. Each character point allows you to improve the score of a skill. A few minutes later. We're good investigators who notice stuff. Alright. Why are you too gold, though? I don't want to invest in occultism on a first run. Thank you for this information, Mr. Pierce. Our files will soon be up to date. And on a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. As well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, do you still. I'm coming. Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem, and I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. That's a you problem. You're free to leave anytime, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? An asshole? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. 
Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. The hound certainly uh, jumps around a little bit. Okay. A warehouse on Darkware. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. A shipping label. Some of it is unreadable, but I can make out part of the address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater. The police report. The f it says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decide on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? A press cutting. An article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the Isle of Darkwater. They live a reclusive life. They live a recluse life there with their only son, Simon. Okay. Oh wait, I could have turned that around. Whoops. Always turn things around. Okay. What's the symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. So. Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Hmm. Find out about Warehouse 36. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Darkwater. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. He married a deep one. Investigation professional unlocked answer. The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. Hmm. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. 
I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from dark water right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Darkwater. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. The husband never understood that his wife had left him. He kept on calling me weeks after the investigation had been closed. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case, but when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. Dark water is off the coast of Boston, but I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century, but it seems to have been shunned since then. Deep One's calling it now. Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with the many memories left, left by its lost tribe. So it's been inhabited before the 14th century. But don't let the romanticism of these moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows, but today's inhabitants the sons and daughters of the proud well hunter still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of their small land off the coast of Massachusetts. Rock painting found in a cave in dark water. So that's what they worship. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. I should get rid of all this stuff. Are you sure? Because everyone loves a good string board. Everyone loves a good string board. It's the only thing you've got going in your favor right now. Well, let's go. Chapter 2, Darkwater Port. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting. On the shipping label, an address. A warehouse sat on the docks of the island of Darkwater. The place seems to be the starting point of Pierce's investigation. Now we're getting the credits. Okay. That's bad for your health, my dude. So are deep ones. I feel like these are almost equally bad for your health.
I don't know why, but I'm getting the vibes of a Nancy Drew game. Call of Cthulhu. Guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink at the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. You got any gills you want to grow there, Fitzroy? Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, her journal's nice. Okay, so let's secondary objectives. Go to the bar. So let's go to the bar, I guess. Hello? Oh, okay. Fuck you too, buddy. Prohibition. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. Yeah, that's how I'd feel about it too. Oh, hello, little crap friends. Hello, little crap friends. How are you? One eternity later. Hey, it's that lantern. Hello? Can I take you? No. Why would I want a lantern in a spooky, foggy island? Hi, bud. Can I talk to you? No. Hello? Who the heck is Bradley? I guess we'll find him. That's Bradley, isn't it? Buddy. New crush allocated. Let's get him another drink. You try. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Hold the test drink. No, thank you. Pure instinct. I behaved like a hun. And I sincerely apologize. Veteran, huh? 307th Infantry Regiment. Oh. Well, that'll be okay for now. But the war is over. Try not to forget it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. Sorry, Captain Dr. Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. You want a drink? I wouldn't say no to a glass. Try this. Well, 
being a paying customer might uh, make me a little more favorable in his eyes, right? I think we'll get along well. I thought you hated whiskey. <laughs> this will affect your destiny. That I took a drink? God, okay. Find out about... Okay, the Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. What can you tell me about it? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Mm. Talk, you'll feel better. For you me. don't dare say a thing because you respect their memory. But that doesn't mean that you don't have a lot on your mind. <laughs> You're not a PI for nothing. Okay. I don't know what it's worth, though. But Mrs. Hawkins, and she went to see her doctor very often. She was sick. Ah, I shouldn't have mentioned it to you. Forget it. Gosh, it's true that they were Her strange. style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. Her vision, was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Okay. I've got what I need. Anything else? I like this guy, but I'm pretty sure he's in on it. Um... You know where this place is. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. You could Anything say more. Anything else? It'd be very hard to say less without actually just not talking. I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Ah, it's the cutie in the corner. That'll be all for now. Thanks for the drink, my man. You guys are having a great time. Oh, you like our song? Yeah. <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's You're doing true. Great, babe. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. It's a local legend. Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? We're the proof. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. What report? The one that's framed right behind you. I deserve that. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. 
And it was delicious. You guys, okay, already getting a picture here. So, a couple of generations ago, they hauled some weird thing out of the water and in desperation ate it. Because it was that or starve. And now you're all cultists. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last. The biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. <laughs> exactly. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. Yeah, you guys are a lot better when you're singing. Uh, you look important. I want to go check out this real quick. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. Hey, that's the ship we saw earlier. The Scylla returns to port to save Darkwater from famine. We had given up hope. The crew of the Scylla, or what remains of it, returned to Darkwater Port late on Tuesday afternoon. The locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last whaling ship on the island. People were amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch the brave vessel had on board. Of a size, of, ugh, of a size that went beyond that of a formidable tooth, of the formidable toothed whales. Whales have teeth? The the cetacean that is already being called the Miraculous Catch covered the whole deck and parts of it were hanging over the sides of the ship. The surviving sailors told a frightening account of their perilous catch, but also of its meat, unmatched in its quality and plentiful nutri nutritious, yeah, nutritious benefits. There is no doubt that the immense size of this well will allow numerous inhabitants of dark water to feed themselves, bringing an end to the famine from which part of the island was suffering. Warehouse for went, rent went. Hmm. Mr. Marks is putting his warehouse up for rent from June for fishing, workshop, or storage activities. Special evening at the Stranded Well. To celebrate the return of our brave wellers, all of the staff at the Stranded Well invite you to an exceptional and free tasting event. Come with your family or with friends to taste the miraculous catch. Each person will leave with a bottle of oil, so don't hesitate. Oh yeah. Okay. What do we have to say about the miraculous catch? Miraculous catch is what the locals call the last catch of their whalers. They still celebrate this catch, and an article from time, the time still staggers the bar. It's strange how the memory seems so alive, as if it was maintained by the survivors. You have no right to treat us like this. And the doctor, what did he say? He laughed. My God. She will do it again, you know. Who? The girl doctor. Coleman. She won't stop asking. Not that again. She will get us into trouble. Mm, I know, I know. Okay, Colden, that's an important name. Hi, buddy, you look weird. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations. Gifted with its own consciousness until it finds a new reader. Okay. Like I said, cultists, oh God. you're probably the only sane person on this island. Hello. I'm going to guess you're Bradley. What are you looking at, stranger? It's a woman like you doing in a place like this? Okay, we know that. I've rarely seen a woman who can hold her liquor so confidently. Uh, what gives you the right to judge me? Uh, it was a compliment. So what? Let me drink, stranger. Yeah, we definitely deserve that. You look like fun. Are you two dating? Oh boy. I see we still have really great opinions. Let's see here. 
Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker and a debtor. Interesting. Miss Baker always free for the lady. Okay. Who the heck is Bradley? What's happening over here? Let the police do their work. Oh, that's Bradley. Hey, Sullivan. Can't you go any faster? You see how old this thing is? If we force it too much, we'll break everything. Crap. Can't do that. But it's only a fish. A fish? You've got no idea. Don't badmouth what you don't know. Or you'll pay for it for sure. Okay, that's enough. Step back and let us do our job. Yeah, okay. There's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. He's gonna get us into trouble. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. Ow. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're oh, cops. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. You can't understand. You're not sailors. I'm gonna it's go with their correct, Something honestly. Coming. Something real bad. You know, I'm Don't just saying, back in the water, you if the people who do all the fish stuff are telling you that it's bad to put the fish back in the water, don't put the fish back in the water. There's nothing what? to sort out. Your chum wanted to stir us up. <laughs> There's so nothing for you here either. Watch if you want. Beat you it. Pick up the pieces. Come on, you bastard. You'll see what a true sailor's got in his belly. You hear okay. that? What did he call us just now? I said you were a bilge rat. Demon at a box flipping. Oh, I'm stealing that. You don't know what you're doing? Hidden in the fog? I'll shut up your big mouth once and for all. Optimistic. Okay, so there's some tension between the bootleggers and the sailors. Interesting. There's our lamp again. Can I have my lamp yet? All right, now we need to talk to Fitzroy. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. No, I want to ding the bell. Ugh, fine. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. The terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier, Cat. Okay. So, that's probably part of the... Hi, I'm going through your stuff. I'm a PI, what did you expect? I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Yeah, that's better than me just looking at things right in front of you. Don't hit me over the head. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. Yeah, right there. That's all I'll get from them. Charles Hawkins and James Fitzroy. Only a few dates are still legible. 1890, 1907, and a partial date. The rest of the document is blacked out. Who would want this information to be hidden? Cultists. Yeah, you go that way. Bye bye Leave. I'm going to snoop in your things. I'm going to snoop. The Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. Yeah, we saw it when we came in. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. Hmm. 
Fishing equipment. Huh. Could do with some rust remover. A toilet. You found a bathroom. People in this universe do pee. Okay. We look there, we look there. What's over here? So the sailors and the bootleggers aren't into each other. And Pat and Captain Fiz Fitzroy don't like each other. Pat is probably the... This second volume teaches ethics and good practice to medical staff. Oh, okay. Is that why it's... I bet. And that was the second volume, so I guess we missed the first somewhere. Must have been in our office. I can't think of anywhere else it would be here. Okay, so the gold ones must be things we can find books to learn. Good to know. Gotta look at these pictures. Pictures. The state house. Some of these are rather familiar. Nice, nice, nice. So with the green lights. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. In this photograph, a man who looks like Captain Fitzroy is posing on the bridge of a ship. He has a wooden leg. Okay, no date on it. Anything in there? What a macabre souvenir. Is that how you say that? I guess that's the peg leg. Okay, so did he eat the miraculous catch and it grew his leg back and it made them immortal? Is that how that works? I don't know. I don't know fish logic. I'm landlocked. What would I know? So From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hardworking lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um... You're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other. You're talking about mythology. <laughs> Indeed, you're right. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. I was looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> but she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. Mm. 
I'm looking for Warehouse 36. You know where it is. Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You okay. can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No. It was none of my business. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Overall, I think I like Fitzroy. I think I like him. Oh, we have two points available. Heck yeah. Well, I'm not going to level you guys up. We can find books. With that, I think we'll leave that here. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you have an excellent week. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!